All right, so there's still no official audio to my video yet. I'm still trying to transfer my videos onto my computer so I can add the official audio. But for right now, that's not happening. So right now, what I'm going to do is just use the iPhone audio. I'm just going to raise up the volume. So thank you for bearing with me because every interview is going to be getting better. The quality is going to be getting better. Me as an interviewer, I will be getting better. And so just thank you for watching. Thank you for giving a fuck about what I'm doing. Thank you for giving a fuck about what these artists are doing because that's what this whole entire shit is about. So just keep continuing to support and watch. And yeah, man, just means a lot, so. Let's get a fake what's up one time. Like we didn't say what's up earlier. What's up, what's up? How you doing, man? How you feeling, bro? I'm mm, feeling pretty good, honestly. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel like shit, bro. Where? Kind of feel like shit. <laughs> what happened? I fucking, I was drinking yesterday, bro, so I don't like, I don't, I've been, I've literally been laying in bed this entire fucking day. Bro. Oh, that's the sunglasses and Advil. Yeah. <laughs> you for the next day. Yeah, I like, it's all day today, bro. I was just laid up, bro. I didn't do shit. <laughs> I didn't do shit all day. Double checked up on a Sunday afternoon. They said Rocky dropped like a little fucking art thing though today. Yeah, I saw that. It's cover tape. Yeah, it's cover art or something. No, not even that. It's, um, it's like, hey, like an art show and shit. No way. It was like two or three. It's like it's like two or three hours long, just type thing. It was pretty cool. For real? I yeah. say I it's didn't. Pretty, I didn't see that. Shout out to Rocky. Pretty dope. Shout out to Rocky. What you been up to though, bro? Honestly, just working, trying to finish up this tape, dog. Oh yeah, that's what that's what we're, we're gonna talk about. Yeah. So when does this tape come out? Uh, I wanna honestly, I wanna shoot for June, cause that's my birth month. So mm -hmm. I wanna shoot for June. But if not, then we gonna have to push it back to July, cause. I'm a perfectionist. If it ain't right, it ain't getting released. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, because yeah, so, yeah, you want this best shit possible for your motherfucking it, tape. Yeah, exactly. And that's going to be your first one? It's going to be like, yeah, my first solo project like that I'm actually pushing for real, for real. So. so like the rest have been like what? like Kind of just like SoundCloud tapes and like, you know what I mean? Not really uh, oh, so like the, here and there. So it's like beats. the first like legit ass like, like this is yeah, me, this is what I'm putting. to the wall, this is who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fuck, okay. Fucking um. Cool. Yeah, bro. Cause I haven't seen you like in. Last time I seen you, bro, was at the this one dude's party. I forgot who Fred was party. It was. I don't even know whose party it was, but I know old boy was faded. That was one it? dude um, who was sitting down in the corner. He ended up knocking everything off the table. I swear. Knock. Yes. Knocked the table over. <laughs> that boy was faded. I think, I think I remember. I don't know. <laughs> I think I don't know. We had pizza. There was a hammock in that bitch. There Yo, was a projector. my nigga had pizza. <laughs> my nigga had pizza. My nigga had all the party essentials, bro. And the cops came what yeah. two, three times? Yeah, they didn't give a fuck. They didn't care, They're bro. They're trying to turn us down now. I have never seen that, bro. Where cops are just like, you know, just keep, keep it cool, bro. We'll be dipping. It. We'll be out. For real. I've never seen that at a party, bro. Because usually you come in, they shut that shit quick. Yeah, I mean, well, my dad. So as long as you're respectful. And you chill, they usually, you know what I mean, let you keep partying. Dude was mad respectful then, because they weren't even tripping. <laughs> they were not. <laughs> as long as you don't say something that's all fucked up to the door, because then it's that's setting your night short. <laughs> and it was funny, because, yeah, they came, I was saying, I don't know, they came a couple of times, and each time they were like, yeah, just keep it down. Kept it down for like five minutes, turned that bitch right back up. I don't know, I'm surprised, like, especially coming more than once, bro, I'd expect them to shut that shit Oh, up. yeah. Oh yeah, that was the that. scandal was on the on the boards. He was DJ. Yeah, shout out to Scan. My nigga yeah. was on the DJ shit, bro. Yeah, bro. That's why I first heard that swoosh me up shit, and I was like, nigga, <laughs> Who is why, I, I was like, why am I late on this right now, bro? <laughs> yeah, that thing go crazy. Yeah, and I'm surprised I didn't tell you about the uh, whole interview shit before that. Mm, I don't know. I'm surprised I never cool. told you. It's good. It's good, but it's it's alive and well now, bro. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm fucking with the vision for real. I appreciate it, man. For real. But yeah, I'm surprised I didn't fucking tell you, bro. Cause I mean, I've only told so many people. Really, just boys and shit. Just cause um, it's funny cause it, it's the more people you tell, honestly, some people like to like to sneak ideas and try to take it. So I try to keep my, all my creative things to myself until it until it gets put out. You yeah. Feel me? And now so it was a good move. And now if I see the whole interview shit, I'm like, oh, okay, I know where it's coming from. You yeah. feel me? I know where it's coming from. That's good. That's Sorry, good, man. But no, I'm just glad I'm getting this shit done, though. But, um, all right, so I was going to talk about this, bro, because you're, like, good as fuck with your whole internet interaction. Like, you feel me? Like, you're, like, we're talking about shit at the party, bro. Like, you know what the fuck you're doing. You know how to fucking advertise yourself. Because yeah. this whole internet shit's all free advertising. It, it really is, honestly. Social media is, like, some people, it's crazy how you brought that up because uh, I just got uh, caught up in social media. And it's, like, 
you could get you could do so much in social media, you know what I mean? But then when it comes to word of mouth, that's when you kind of like set in stone, like this is who I am. That's just kinda, natural. You know what I mean? Exactly. You get to meet uh, fans like face to face and stuff like that and kind of like set yourself in, in their mind almost, you know what I mean? Make more of a presence than just like all over the internet, click my link type of thing. But honestly, when it comes to social media, I try to get it down to a science because every, every social media has an algorithm, you know? If you get like a certain amount of favorites in a certain amount of time, they'll show it to a certain amount of people. You know what I mean? If your shit ain't popping, then they're not gonna, you know what I mean? They ain't yeah. gonna push it to all your followers. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been trying to focus on, just stuff like that, reaching out to other people that are popping, trying to get game from them, you know what I mean? How they do it, you know? Invest some time into that. But I've been trying, man. I'm glad you noticed that. <laughs> oh, no, bro. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> anytime, anytime I'm on the internet, bro, I just seen you were, you were just recently on the Explore page, too. On, on the on the yeah, big one, you feel me? On the big, on the big shit. Yes, I actually had a few people screenshot that. and was like, bro, you're on the explore page, and I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> what I was shooting and for. That was a that was a freestyle video, wasn't it? Yeah, no, that was like a little a preview to um, a remix of that Kanye "Lift Yourself." Okay, at yeah. first, at first, I thought it was the uh, the one in the car. You're just kind of like. Um, I don't know, spin. Goes, yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. I was messing around with the graffiti in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that shit was fire. It was cool, that bro. Was my boy Sai recorded that. Shout out to Sai. It was his wit too. Yeah, my niggas in the back right here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, but yeah, but you're good as fuck with that shit, bro. Cause uh, I'll be on Twitter. Like I said, see your, your shit gets stupid ass amount of retweets, bro. Dumbass mm -hmm. amounts. I can only imagine how many impressions it gets. How many impressions do you be getting on Twitter? Honestly, I haven't checked since last summer. That's when I got it. That's when they first oh, dropped just, like the whole. You know so you be me checking see? the shit? Nah. Oh no, shit! I, I, would, I would, would be fine. Sorry, sorry, I'd be telling me, bro, you got this many views. I'm like, yeah. Huh. Then that's dope. You don't even you're not even checking the shit. You're just like, yeah, nigga, I know what knows about this. Letting song. it be, yeah, yeah. just <laughs> playing the seed, you know. That's yeah. hard, bro. I appreciate that, but um. Oh, okay. yeah. And what went with that contract? So I remember on Twitter, you were saying something about you had a contract with uh, one of Burner's people? Yeah, one of, uh, so Burner, yeah, one of Burner's boys. He had hit my brother, Goto's. He wanted to do a distribution deal. And it's all gravy. It's good. It's looking good. But I wanted to finish up my tape before I even stepped oh, so it's into still, that. So it's still yeah. a thing? It's still, yeah, it's still on okay. the email. Okay. Chart, I'm going to have to hit him back. But it was just a little distribution. And that's the third the third uh, contract I got sent to me so far. But also, people are reaching out to you and shit. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Nice. That's yeah, but saying. you gotta watch out. Sometimes I just got a LinkedIn with Legal Show. It's art. If if you are an artist and you get a contract sent to you, don't try to read that and think you a professional. Send it to the professionals. Let them do it. You feel me? Because yeah. I just got locked in with Legal Show, and they'll record like they'll go over up to like a certain amount of documents. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And tell you like straight up, nah, they trying to take all your music. They trying to take your name. They trying to take this amount. You know what I mean? This percentage. So yeah, it's it's very important to know what you're getting into when it comes to signing stuff. And I could imagine, especially being at like a still like a beginning stages, they're gonna try to fuck you over as much as they possibly can. Exactly, they Cause, think you cause, crush me because they think like, oh, like you know, he's just gonna try to get whatever he can. So if I'm, we're gonna get this nigga for as much as we possibly could. Yep, exactly, exactly how it goes. That's how they do it, bro. And I was just—it's crazy. I was watching this thing. Um, there's these kids. Uh, Sony, this old dude got these three black kids signed to Sony, and. He had no, like, he knew they could play instruments, but he had no, like, way of marketing them. They didn't know how to sing or anything. So they're kind of just like a shot in the water. And Sony threw them $1.8 million, bruh. And they're like, oh, looking at it, like, yo, this is money. We can do this. Signed it and all that, you know what I mean? Fuck Not knowing themselves. you got to ask for advances. You got to ask for reaches. You know what I mean? You can't even touch that. You got to pay for the bus. You got to pay, you know what I mean? Like recording, all that. They don't even let these kids step into the studio, bruh. Like a lot of fucking, a lot of spots said like sign niggas and shelf them. D Savage. <laughs> He got shoved, you know what I mean? Oh, he, he got, got signed and shit? Yeah, he got signed and shoved. He dropped a few things, but but a lot of these niggas could be flourishing if they were independent. Like, they could be doing what they want, creative control. Yeah. Uzi, you see Uzi's little stunt on the Insta on his Instagram? Mm -hmm. That boy, oh, he going on. <laughs> on his Instagram. Mr. Kid gonna be a boss. <laughs> <laughs> but niggas really have beef, though, bro. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know if it's really like a beef, you feel me? Because I don't, I don't even see them. I don't even see either of them really going too far out the way to fucking, you know. Yeah, to reach out to each other type of thing. Like, Rich the Kid tried to step into it, you know what I mean? And, and mix it up, but Lil Uzi wasn't happy. He didn't rush more. I ain't going front, bro. That Lil Uzi song was hard. Like, he dropped the one. Uh, like he's just, he's using his raspy voice. He's not even doing little high fucking. His little does. melodies and all that. Bro, yeah. his shit was fucking hard. Nigga. That was one of my favorite what's fucking. I think Rich Forever. Oh okay, I'm gonna have to check that out. Bro, slaps, bro. I haven't heard I haven't heard him rap like that probably since like Love Is Rage type shit or like the one before that one. I forgot what the one before that was called, but yeah, bro, she was fucking fire. That's cool. I just give business. Uzi yeah, so uh, cool. yeah, so that contract is you just, you're just waiting on that to wait till you fucking. Yeah, I'm waiting for the tape. Basically, I'm waiting for the tape to finish up. So do you want you want your tape to drop through that or? If it, yeah, honestly, the way the tape the uh, contract's looking is like um, I could probably everything that it's offering I could probably do myself. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Oh, okay. So there's not really like nothing too out of the ordinary. So I'm still kind of debating, trying to weigh my options. But if if all goes well, I would do I would do the tape too, do that distribution. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because if anything, you know, like that shit might just be better to do when you're fucking like really getting up there. Like, okay, now I need this. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's why I wanted to, you know, shelf it just like they shelf artists when they shelf that contract. Yeah. <laughs> see what I can do, you know. I weigh my options and see what see what's popping. Hey, so uh, when did you start smoking, bro? Because obviously my niggas, my nigga came in here a little high right now. Yeah, I did, yeah. I've been, honestly, I've been smoking since I was 15. So I was 15 years old. Oh, so you started not late, but a little later than usual. Yeah, a little people later. People usually start. But I, I talked to niggas. Yeah, I started at 12. I started at 11. That shit blows my what? mind. What? Bro, I know people that start Who like in third, parents? fourth grade. And that That's shit what I'm blows saying. Who my mind, parents? bro. parents? Like... Where were your parents? No, I started smoking like around 15, 16. So that's like what, like freshman, sophomore year, maybe? Yeah, freshman, sophomore. Uh, niggas always tried to say that it was going to mess with my, uh, mess with like my uh, athletics and stuff like that. But Oh, you did you did sports? Yeah, I started okay. sports. I was starting up. all four years, blowing smoke all four years. So it's like... What were you playing? Uh, I played football and I did track here oh, and there. Oh shit! I did yeah. track. I ain't I did a. Uh, I did long distance <laughs> <Okay>. shit. <laughs> you feel me? Okay, I see you. <laughs> but I never did no competitions though. You feel me? Like, oh no, you didn't go to the meets. Mm-hmm. No, I mean I. I bro, some bitches be there, nigga. Oh my god, the skinny bitches got ass, bro. That's why they call it meets, cause that's where you can meet your wife, my nigga. You can meet some bad females, bro. Over there. For real, bro. It's cool. That's what I'm saying. We're like, they're bro. The bitches with no ass got ass, my nigga. I swear to God. <laughs> and those track swords. Yeah. <laughs> those track swords be making it look good. What did you do in track? In track, I threw. I was a little chunky. Oh, okay. So I was throwing discus and shit. Oh, okay. I tried to do sprints. Like, I would practice with the sprinters, but I wouldn't compete. Yeah. But, yeah, that shit, man. I remember the very first day I went out there on that track. They're doing, like, some practice shit. They did like a little fucking sprint run real quick, and I was like, no, I gave him my all, bro. <laughs> he said, Dude, I should not have, bro. I shouldn't have done that, bro, I swear to God, I fucking did that full ass sprint. Stupid tough, bro. Just I was trying to fucking be up there, bro. I didn't warm up. No jogging, <laughs> bro. I didn't stretch. Nigga just fucking went for it, bro. I swear to God, I was laying in the grass, bro, seeing stars. Oh, and yeah. I'm, and I'm not even trying to be funny. I dead ass was seeing little stars. And, just and like, that runner's high. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't even a cool high, bro. It was fucking horrible, bro. I was like, that was like a bad trip, bro. That's what oh, it was like. that's heck of funny. I was sitting there trying not to die, bro. Fucking heart beating mad fast. Yeah, no, it'd be like that, bro. If you're not hydrated or if you're not ready, it'd really be like that. Seeing stars and all that. Some people really like that though. It, they like what? That runner's high, like that feeling of like lightness. Like as soon as you finish running, well, when I would finish running, I'd feel light, bro. I'd feel I get that. But like, would it feel high. good or was it like a nah type thing? Sometimes if you ain't hydrated, yeah, it's bad, bro. You feel like you gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I don't like that, bro. Yeah, I don't like feeling like I'm about to pass out. <laughs> that shit ain't a cool feeling. Bro. I feel you on that. What uh, what position you play in football? Uh, I I was all around. I did line. I was a lineman for a little bit. 
and then I did a full bag, went to full bag, and then I went to running back, and then I moved to Modesto, and then I became a linebacker. So, Where, where'd you live at before? In Newman, I was in Cowtown. <laughs> right that by shit's... Patterson. Oh, okay. I call yeah. they call it Cowtown? Yeah, I call it Cowtown, because that town is poop. <laughs> ran by a bunch of old white people, bro, but the kids out there really, you know, they try to they try to do what they can to have fun, like, and I, I respect them for that, because... I mean, is there less to do in series? Yeah, no. There's literally nothing to do in Newman except for tip cows. You like uh, tipping cows, my nigga? (laughs) You can slide to Newman. It's good. They got They just got a new skate park, though. Oh, for real? Yeah, it's pretty fire. It's pretty fire. You went to Oakdale one? Yeah, been out there. My nigga, me and my nigga side side out there. He side out there more than I do. I don't know why. That's a pretty good one, bro. Bro, that thing looked like it's expensive. The one in Newman is small, and they spent three hundred thousand on it. And when in Oakdale oh, is like three times that size, I'm pretty sure they spent like a mil on that, bro. Yeah, that shit's a cool one, bro. Cause I remember my boys like, yeah, they got a skate park in Oakdale, and I'm like, that's probably be whack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Oakdale bud skate park? Yeah, no. like who the fuck is out there skateboarding like that, bro? <laughs> but I went out there, bro, and it was one of the best skate parks I've been to for sure, bro. To be honest. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's hella chill. Cause like they have like everything set up like fucking nice, but like there's like there's like four or five bowls there, but they're completely out of the way from, mm-hmm. from everything. Like they're not even in anybody's way. Oh, on this side, yeah. Yeah, then like the whole yeah. shit, the whole rest of it is all built for street shit. So it's that's definitely one of the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks like competition too. Like yeah, competition type of shit. But uh, wait, you grew up in Newman? Yeah, ten years. I did ten years in Newman, but before I moved to Newman, I lived out in uh, Livingston. Before Livingston, I lived in Modesto. You know, I was on Paradise, and then before Modesto, we were in Stockton. So eventually, just all oh, just came back. All around, yeah, man. We were in Ohio at one time. You know, um, um, Fairfield. I was born in Fairfield. We lived over in that area, um, and then we just came over. Newman was the longest stay, though. I was there for ten years. Grew up in Newman. What was the fuck? What was the first thing you smoked out of? We're going. We're bouncing back from every topic. Uh, <laughs> the first thing I smoked out of. Oh man, let me think. Oh, I was a joint. The oh, first thing right. I smoked out of was a joint. Yeah, it was a, a pinner joint, like one of those tiny ass fucking. What's things. the story behind that? My nigga had some shake, and uh, I was like, "Yo, okay, let me cop a little something." <laughs> And my bro was like, bro, I smoked before. I know how to roll. I got this, you know. Rolled up a little joint. And there was like heck of left. And I was like, I told him, I was like, bro, you can have it. I don't care. Like, I spent five bucks on it. You can have it. I don't really care. He was like, for sure. Thanks, bro. Rolled up. Blew it. And I was, bro, I literally felt like I was in a dream, dog. Like, it was hella, it was hella hot outside. So I kind of felt like lightheaded. You know what I mean? And we were yeah. over by this, uh, we were at the school, Von Renner in the back and there was like this there was like this janitor coming in but I thought he was a teacher so I like when he started getting paranoid so I was like fuck that I'm going home <laughs> laying down went home laid down I was chilling bro and after that I was like fuck I kind of found a new hobby <laughs> what was like the first like bullshit sh- thing you ever smoked out of a fucking can a fucking can bro. I just smoked out of a can niggas had to poke holes in it uh, it was bad, bro. And then I remember when I like a couple of weeks after I first started smoking, I used to YouTube stuff like how to make a pipe. Yo, like I would MacGyver the craziest shit, bro. I'd have like the wildest bomb, and I'd have like a pill <laughs> bottle and like a fucking screw cap and some fucking crazy ass shit. That's when, bro, YouTube has been the fucking guide to everything youtube for a long, university long time. bro that is what i was fucking raised off of. <laughs> real shit bro it's everything i ever wanted to know bro that's all straight YouTube. off of youtube everything that's bro. true i remember before like i really got into porn bro i was trying to look at porn on youtube <laughs> 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 niggas was watching the oh uh, off of the youtube the censored porn <laughs> it stopped when it got good <laughs> you feel that bro that's dead ass. Oh, man. Because they're like the bitches making out as soon as they're about to get into it, man. Just boom. <laughs> and niggas couldn't be on the actual points. I know how to delete the history, bro. That's it, bro. Sometimes I you forget. And you'd be like, nigga, oh, did I delete it? I you get, did you ever get caught like that? Bro, I've, honestly, I, have, I haven't gotten caught like that. But I have gotten caught 
where um, I got pics sent to me from a female, and my <laughs> my parents would go to the uh, to the phone spot and ask like, you know what I mean, can we see the messages?" And oh, they're like, about? "Can we see the pictures?" Yeah, you can do that. See the mess- oh, yeah, you can see the messages and uh, and. It was bad, bro. I was sending pigs back. We were sending pigs back and forth. And then I got caught up. Why were you talking to? What are you doing? So, like, your parents might have seen your shit? Might have, yeah. And they saw some other little girls doing things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nigga. Man, shit, some, yeah, yeah. shit was bad, bro. I got caught up, though. My mom my mom knew I was a little pig. I fuck when I was a little bitches. And she was older than me too. That was the thing. She was like three years older than me. <laughs> so they were like way tripping. I was like, who is this? And then I fucking I was smashing on shorty at the apartments one time, and my pop was driving around, and he he knocked on the window. He was like, hey. and he, as soon as he knocked, he walked away because he knew what was happening. Because he, he let me get my pants on and shit like that. I hopped out. I had like no shoes on. So like you were in the car? Yeah, we were in the whip. She was inside. I told her to stand in the whip, shut the door. He was like, what are you doing? I was like, he was like, you, t- you told me you were at Rodrigo's house. I was like, I'm just hanging out with the girl, dad. Listen, this and that. I like, see my mom sheets. lean over. Yeah, I see my mom lean, lean over in the passenger seat. What are you doing? I was like, <laughs> oh, God, it's bad. I was like, shorty, you got a dip. And this is like when you and the bitch are still in the car? Yeah. Then, no, I had hopped out. I told her to stay in the whip. Because oh, she ain't okay. got no type of clothes on. Oh, so she was still butt-ass naked in the whip. <laughs> butt-ass naked. Trying to throw her pantyhose on when I opened the door. Up. It was bad, bro. But nigga had to play it off. They didn't really ask me questions about it. They saw the hickeys, I mean. But they didn't really ask too many questions. It was kind of the thing that I went <coughs> instead. And my dad just, you know, the parents give you that conversation about protected stuff. And, and yeah, that. bro. But <laughs> it was crazy. You ever seen the movie Kids? Kids? Nah. Never? Mm-mm. You're fucking slipping, bro. That's right. my next watch. You have to watch this. It's on YouTube. We you watch it for free. It's fire, bro. 99 is good. It's fire, YouTube bro. University. <laughs> yeah, drive right back to YouTube, Drive right back to YouTube, baby. But uh, I remember um, the first time I got some dome, bro, I was like 13. I was in eighth grade, yeah, bro. Me and, me and my girlfriend at the time went to the movie theaters, topped your boy up during the movie, bro. <laughs> I don't know what movie this shit was, bro. I didn't get, like, this is how much I didn't give a fuck. Oh, but I don't know. I didn't even pay attention to the movie. I wasn't even know. about the movie. I didn't even bust, actually. Did, I don't know. Did I? I don't know. But the head was kind of bad, though. Because <laughs> <laughs> imagine during the time, bro, you ain't, you ain't getting no crazy dumb. Yeah. We, we, how your balls even dropped yet? Nah, I had, I had, I had people care. <laughs> <laughs> That's the... <laughs> That's 13. No, I think he said I was rocking. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, that, that's 13, bro. I think, uh, <laughs> I think the balls might have dropped. I think the oh, balls might have funny. dropped at that time. That's hell of a Being in the motherfucking movie theaters, bro. Oh, and I lost, And then I lost my virginity. Like, but not this house right here, but the house after that. On this block? On this block, bro. The house was, no a, way. The house was abandoned. Wow, we're doing an interview. On the same block. Yeah. <laughs> this nigga. Yeah, glasses for You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? Oh, that was a little funny. Because I remember that the fucking house was abandoned, and so I was like, no, fuck it, bro. It was, a, it was, a, it was cool, bro. Late start day. Oh, yeah. My nigga was chilling. <laughs> bro, what happened to late start days? Uh, they had those in high school. I mean, in my high school, they did. I went to Central. They had those there. For real? Yeah. See, I went to, as soon as I started going to high school in Newman, they cut the late start days out, bro. Sure. Plug, bro. Everyone, everyone goes to one person's house, gets high as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. You get that morning. Morning chief in. I remember one of my boys has come with like a little, like, you'd make some orange juice and fucking vodka and come to school with that. What? It's funny. Shipping at school. I remember. Nah, it wasn't me, bro. Wow. Was he? I didn't. I think I took like a chug. That was about it. And like I remember, like I barely even drink at the time. So I was like, oh shit, I'm kind of feeling something <laughs> from that one drink and shit. But now nah, this dude, it's funny now because he don't drink no more like at all. Yeah, no, nah, I don't drink either. All right, we got. Oh, yeah, we got to talk about that. All right, so how come you don't drink? I got ulcers, man. Oh, I got little shit. cuts in my stomach. Yeah. Oh, how the fuck did you find that out? Uh, I would, for like a month straight, I was waking up at like four in the morning, throwing up, bro. And my mom would always tell me, go to the doctors, go to the doctors. And then finally I went to the doctors and they sent me to, um, to go get, uh, what is it? 
where you get the scope put down your throat and you kind of oh, get it, yeah, you get a camera and put down Are you right into your stomach. No, they put me to sleep. I was, I was sneezing. Yeah, they sprayed my my mouth so that like my throat's numb. Cause when they put the, you know what I mean? When they put the uh, camera down there, checked my stomach and they saw like little cuts. So they prescribed me some stuff. <coughs> ever since then, bro, every like after I tried drinking, the next day I just yak like hella bad, oh, fuck, I'm dying, bro. Like to to the point where I'm like dry heaving. So like just like two or three months ago, I came, it came to the point where I was like, no, I'm not drinking anymore, bro. That sucks, cause I'm cool. a I'm a drinker, bro. So that that sucks. Yeah, no, I'm. Tch, shout out to all the drinkers. I mean, do your thing. It ain't for me. Don't drink and drive though, but mm -hmm. do your thing. Do you I shit? Don't yeah, do that. yeah, but no, I don't hate on it. I just can't do it. You know. I used to, like, it's probably better to not drink to be real. Yeah, I feel it's bad for your kidneys. I I used to like Coronas and all that. You know what I mean? Here and there, you know those crazy ass drinks that you see on at the bar and shit. You know, mm -hmm. a nigga want to drink that, want to taste a little something. But <laughs> you remember when four locals were popping? Bruh, niggas were. <sighs> Niggas were shotgunning in four logos when oh, they first hell came. Oh, nah, bro. That shit was. You were around niggas shotgunning? Yeah. I saw niggas, yes. A few niggas were shotgunning four logos. <laughs> in Newman. I'm telling you, that's how boring it yeah, is. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> fuck. Shout out to, to Newman, bro. You niggas shotgunning four logos, bro. Oh, shotgunning four logos and tipping cows after you, bro. <laughs> I never even For tipped real. a cow, bro. No? You tipped the cow? No, nah, never in my life. I can imagine being high. It's probably fucking hilarious. <laughs> I feel bad, honestly. I fuck with animals, you know what I mean? I feel a little bad tipping that nigga over. Probably can't get up. Hurt his back or something. <laughs> Try to help it back up, but you have to tip him. For real, like, my bad, bro. Damn, I just wanted to see how it felt. <laughs> that sucks, though, bro. I can't imagine. Well, I mean, maybe one day I'll stop drinking. Unless yeah. I'm bullshitting right now. I don't know. Maybe one day. Sometimes it gets to a point where guys like... You just can't do that now. Why are you doing mm -hmm. that? <laughs> you know? Yeah, because I've, I've had boys fucking get alcohol poisoning. And it's, it's fucking crazy. Yeah, I've, I've heard of people getting alcohol poisoning, quitting alcohol, and saying, I'm never drinking again. And going right back at it. <laughs> exactly, bro. Because there's days where I wake up, I'm like, fuck, bro. Like, I don't even know if I feel like drinking no more. <laughs> right. I, later, right. I know exactly how that is. Later that same exact day, you want to drink? Fuck uh, it. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's get it. That's what I'm saying for today. I woke up like, ugh, bro. Like, fuck. I mean, I actually woke kind of cool, but then, like, as, like, the day went by, it got worse and worse and worse. What did you drink last night? I just drank, like, a, I just drank, like, a pack of beers. Oh, okay. So it wasn't even, like, nothing crazy. Just sipping. Yeah. I can't mix, bro. Niggas be drinking, like, vodka and then has many. Yeah. And some beer and stuff. Like, no. That's a whole different type of blend. <laughs> exactly, bro. Like, I remember uh, I had a boy, bro. We went to a Halloween party. It was like a, it was like a warehouse in Modesto. Yeah. I remember this Halloween. It was raining outside. I, remember, I didn't want to go, bro. Oh, it's just going to be wet. Yeah, and, uh, and then when, I, when we pulled up, I just seen mad bitches. And I was like, yo, this is the This spot. might be the place for me. Yeah. <laughs> bro, this nigga, bro. This time this, this, we were younger, bro, because we're, we're getting the cheap shit. We got E and J. Mm. And like you know, some Budweisers, mm. but t t this nigga, bro, got his Budweiser right, drank a little bit, and put E and J in his Budweiser. No, y'all niggas are wild. And I'm not bullshitting, bro. This is a true fucking story, bro. Y'all niggas are wild. Till this day, I've still never seen anyone do that. I've never seen anyone put liquor in their fucking. I've seen beer, people bro. chase liquor with beer. But I've, I've done never that. Never seen that. I've never seen that in my life. Bro. And you can imagine that nigga got arrested that night, bro. No, see that's what happened. Shout out my nigga Chris. I'm, I'm putting you on blast, bro. <laughs> Shout out my nigga Chris. I'm naming you. Bro. If you put your liquor inside your beer, you probably don't get arrested. <laughs> yeah, don't yeah, fuck it. yeah, don't fucking do that, bro. Don't do that. I can't. I don't know. How, I don't even know how the nigga drank it, bro. Because I E and J by itself is already fucking disgusting. It's already, bro. but yeah. And it's already a bad decision. And Budweiser's not the best beer. Yeah, no. Nah. At all. So mixing that too. Yeah, I remember he got like you got him getting in a fight, and I remember this nigga like I was with him that I was with him this day, bro. Before we left, this nigga's got like a brand new sweater. The, bro, this nigga with this nigga was on the fighting in his brand new sweater. You bro, know he's nah, fucked up. It's raining, bro. This nigga's on the floor. The cop has him like behind his on 
on the floor, but yeah. has his hands behind his back, and the cops like has his like one foot on him, like it's like a pig, like he just wrapped up. So he has one foot on my boy's back, just kind of looking around like, I'm hot, bro, and this yeah. nigga trying to dominate the fuck out of him. Hell no. Yeah, we were just like, fuck, bro, what do we do? We're like, well, you know. Oh, God. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's something like a, something sounds like a pig would do, honestly. Yeah, shout out my nigga Chris, bro. You're fucking wild, man. I've seen this nigga get faded a lot, a couple of times, bro. Because when this nigga goes in, he fucking, this nigga goes in. Tough. <laughs> Ain't no holding back. I know a few people like that. Tough. Shout out to Dirty Dog, Jordan, Weapon Chris. <laughs> Shout out to them. <laughs> they they go in every single time they drink. There is a if something goes wrong, <laughs> or uh, someone wakes up missing something. Bro. Literally every time, bro. Nah, every time. I hate when I'm drinking and I lose my phone. I'm tripping. Oh yeah, that's bad. I'm tripping. Everyone's got to empty out their pockets, bro. I'm pissed. Yeah, I I think it was like my 19th birthday. No, 18th birthday. I threw a fat party and niggas stole my phone. That's disrespectful, bro. That's disrespectful. At the party, yep. Ever since then. I'm like, you know what? I think I can put kickbacks over parties. <laughs> yeah, because I've never been the one to fucking have a kickback in my house because I don't trust you niggas, bro. Yeah, at all. for real. I don't trust y'all, bro. It's honestly hard to trust niggas, especially when niggas got alcohol in their system. It's even oh, it's worse. like because I've been I've been to a party, bro. And me and my boy stole a niggas bong. Like he like that he that he genuine like he like a nice he let us use, but I was like, <laughs> I was like, no, nah, we're swooping that. Yeah, I've, I've had it not like that. Went to a fucking uh, sorority party and every uh, I think it was like for the new females, you know what I mean? Throwing the party for the new females that got let in, and all of them got their own bottle, bruh. And there was this oh, short female. Wow. She was already fucked up off of someone else's bottle. Says her bottle down on the table, like right next to me, and the lights hell it's hella dark. And my nigga Carlos reaches into the fucking couch and he fucking he's like, what the hell? Pulls out an eighth, bruh. And I'm like, oh, it's good. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Tucked in, we did, bruh. Oh, y'all took your bottle our, too? The bottle too, my nigga. We had our own little party. <laughs> Met up on my nigga Big Mike with Eli and all that shit. This shit was cool, bruh. I was back in high school, the high school days. Bro, I've never been to a sorority party, bro, or, like, or any college party at all. Bro. As a matter of fact. Hey, yeah. shout out to frat parties. They all about the percentage, my nigga. Oh, when I it comes to yeah, female, yeah. like the ratio, you know what I mean? They are all about the female to nigga ratio. That's like, real, that ass. <laughs> That's how it's got to be, bro, because I hate when I go to places and I just see a bunch of niggas walking in. Like, yeah, no, nah, not with frats, bro. Not like that. Yo, because I remember that same party. I'm sorry that the doobie stole your bong, but uh, yeah. that same party, I mean, you're like, bro, this nigga's house, bro. It just, because there's, there's, there's a bunch of bitches inside, bro. It smells like fucking musty pussy in that nigga's house, bro. Oh, God. That's how oh. many bitches there were. Was well, this all? <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there had to be a cool amount, bro, for the whole house to just reek like pussy, bro. <laughs> I put that on everything, bro. I remember I was walking. Bro. I remember I came outside. I'm like, bro, I can't be in there, bro. Like, I'm gonna end up just smelling like pussy walking around this bitch. <laughs> no, that I know some spots like that. You walk in and just the scent just overwhelms you. So I know what I'm talking about. Oh God. <laughs> that shit is gross, bro. It's bad, it's bad. Have you ever had a bitch with a, like some musty smelling pussy? Uh, luckily. God has blessed me to where I, you know what I mean, uh, encounter any shout of that. Shout out to you, bro. Yeah, but I feel bad for the niggas that, that have. Yeah. I heard this one nigga I know, his finger was, his finger Stanking. Yeah, for two days. Ooh. Two days, bro. That shit was... <laughs> That's <laughs> like, you got to soak your finger in that shit, bro. That's not good. Yeah, bro. Yeah, because I had a bitch one time, bro, and her shit was like... Like, say you didn't wear deodorant under your armpit. Like, the owl would, bro. She done took a lap. And fucking Man, came to I the was bed. tripping, bro. Damn. I am tripping. Can't do that. Yeah, now I'd have to kick her out. How you kick a female out once you're done with her? How do I kick her? I used to be like, <laughs> all right, this is, this is what I do every time, bro. This is what I do every time. I used to be like, when we're done, we'd be laying there. I just be like, so what you about to get into? <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Swear to God. I know exactly what you mean. Because that's like the least mean way to say it. It's yeah. pretty much being like, all right, so I'm about to do something. What are you about to do? 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Uh, how, 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 you be, how you be getting them out? Oh, man. I got a few ways. I can't tell my notorious way because females might, might you know what I mean? Away. They might watch this and, and be you know like, what they happened to me? You know, yeah, exactly. But honestly, I like Y'all can to... know how I do that when it's cool. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, but sometimes if, I, if I'm thinking, I usually set it up before, like, I let her know, like, yo, I got to be done at this time. You know what I mean? Oh, that's a smooth so, way. Yeah. Yeah, I let them know I only got a certain amount of time, so. I'm running with that, bro. Yeah. I'm Go ahead. Yeah, dude. Why did I not think of that? It, you feel me? You ain't got to stress about it. You already got it taken care of. <laughs> you, <laughs> you just got to smash. <laughs> you feel me? Is there already a set time for you to dip? Like she already knows, like exactly. Okay, man, yeah, I know. Yeah, I always been like, yo, so uh, what are you about to get into? <laughs> That's what's up. Shit, I'm probably about to go to my boy's house. I can yeah. chop you off or something. <laughs> Whatever you need, you need an Uber is good. Yeah, as long as you pay for it, you got the cash. Or just be like, yo, your Uber is like ten minutes from here, so for you, I start getting ready and shit. <laughs> That's cold. No, but that's only been ones that deserve that, bro. Yeah, the ones that's that are, they, they're, they're the ones the ones that are cool, bro. We we could we could sit there, we could fucking drink some after, we could smoke some, watch a movie, fucking right. grub. But for y'all that just are di- that are just <coughs> y'all know who you are, bro. Y'all deserve the way y'all get kicked out. Uh, like I'm like I said, bro. If you're cool, we could sit there and we could do whatever. You after have been you. voted off the island. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a cool dude, bro. Trust me. I'm, I'm nice as fuck, even though it might not seem like it sometimes. But I'm a very cool guy. Shout out to me. <laughs> shout, out. shout out to my nigga, bro. Yeah, shout out to me, bro. <laughs> so, fuck it. We got to talk about these psychedelics, bro. Cause, bro, I didn't... Yeah, because <clears throat> just telling by, like, your attitude and your vibe, bro, you could definitely tell. Like, you're like, you have, like, the little hippie thing going on. Thank you. I appreciate that. I try to keep it. Because you're, like, you're the kind of guy, like, you walk up and you're just like, what's up, dude? <laughs> Hey man, peace, love, and positivity. <laughs> yeah, I try, I try, bro. Honestly, it's all about the balance. Yeah, you gotta. I you, try to keep it. Balanced. You got a good vibe, bro. Even though, yeah, even that little vibe shit's kind of corny, bro. But you got like that shit's real, bro. You got a cool vibe to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're, you. you're a cool dude, bro. I feel you. I appreciate so that. So fucking. So you took an acid and shrooms? Yeah, no, I've, I have, I, I haven't felt shrooms, but I've consumed them. Uh, I felt nothing? Nah, I didn't feel anything. Oh, shit. Uh, but acid definitely went on a trip. I did a candy flip. Molly and acid. Uh, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, that is that what they call it? Yeah. I was yeah. about to ask you what the fuck is a candy flip. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's what the kids that. call it these days. No, nah, but. How was that? That shit was cool, bro. Honestly, went on the journey. Went through like psh, a few different, a few different, uh, a few different universes. Honestly, bro. Like, they say that your best trip is by yourself, you know what I mean, with your eyes really? closed. Really? Yeah. But, I don't know, it's just like, I just had my eyes closed and I was just going with the music. We were playing Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I you feel like I mean? that's like the music you want to hear. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. It was, it just, that, especially that album, it said a lot about like, the world and like, just you as a person and it had a song you and i think it's called you and me and it's just so it's so simple but it says a lot at the same time you know what i mean like it says something like off and on but then like when you're tripping like you just go on and on and on like whoa off and on like you could be off of drugs and you could be on this or, you know it's just like it's just a bunch of shit bro it was crazy it was a whole different trip but i'm done with all that that that's that uh so you you got what you wanted out there yeah it was just a little phase you know <clears throat> how long are you doing that i mean it was it was a phase okay we got, okay if it, was, if it was a phase my nigga that means you're doing that shit for like a minute Nah, it was like i did it three times in total oh okay mm, yeah not four times in total and i spaced it out sit definitely six months every time you know what i mean oh, okay so uh yeah I, I like to keep it i did it on special occasions only yeah, so would you? So you're done with that? She wouldn't do it again. Yeah, no, nah, I don't think I would mainly because I'm really trying to. I've I don't know. I'm really trying to change my life right now. I'm like, mm-hmm. kind of trying to figure out who I am at the same time. Even though like we're all product of uh, what we're around, you know what I mean. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm still trying to 
trying to figure out, you know what I mean, like how to balance myself, you know, as a person before I go and try that stuff again. But it was cool while it lasted, you know. <laughs> I had fun with it. I don't I don't recommend people going and doing it unless you're ready, but Yeah. You know <clears throat> That's what I, that's what I've told people, bro, like if you're not mentally ready for acid, don't even fucking try. Yeah, shrine, nah, bro. don't even step into that. That shit'll wrong. kick your ass, bro. Yeah, for real, for real. Like, if you bro yeah, you definitely. will get fucked by acid. Yeah, you have to. You have to be a mentally strong person. Yeah, it's you true. You really do. It's true. Cause, bro, like, when I took my two tabs, bro, I was fucking going through it, bro. Two tabs, shawty. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. My last trip was two tabs. <laughs> how was that trip? Was that was that the most strongest one? Mm, yeah, it was fucking crazy, bro. Tell that story. It, it definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things and like. I kind of, uh, it was at my boy's birthday party. We took two tabs, we were chilling and stuff. You really did a birthday party? Yeah. <laughs> you're a, you're yeah. a wild man. <laughs> yeah, and then it, the night went on, we were chilling. <clears throat> and um, it got to uh, to the point where it was just like the select few, you know what I mean? Everyone went home and it was just like the homies that were chilling. And it was dope because we were, <laughs> it was like funny because we were in a room and there was a fat ass clock and it was like a cloth clock and we were just like, I had my eyes closed and I legitly felt like I was a cell getting pumped through my own body. Oh shit. I was having a Oh, I know you're Oh shit, yep. I forgot to tell him that we were doing this. <laughs> I hella forgot. It's all good. I thought it was late. I was like, he's not going to get up. <laughs> <laughs> Need that little bar that says on air. Yeah. <laughs> right outside. That'd be cool. Shout out to my dad. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you said you're like, there's a, there's a select few people left. and but Yeah, no, nah, we were just chilling, bro. It was just, yeah, it was just chill. We were just kicking it. Some crazy stuff happened that night, honestly. Like, this lady walked out. Like we were all in, we were in my boy's whip and this lady walked out and she was like, yo, you guys need to change your life. This and this and that. God loves you and stuff oh, like and that. Oh, and while you're on the acid? Yeah, oh, bro. And I was that like, shit is, wow. Yeah. And uh, right before that, some cops had like came speeding by or whatever. And um, the next morning, I guess someone from the party had gotten a DUI or was drinking and driving and stuff and like... They crashed. And it was just crazy, bro. Just like the turn of events. Like, it was wild. And that's all. Man. It was wild. So was that a cool trip or not? Yeah, it was cool. Honestly, it was It was like just being able to... Uh, I had to catch myself a few times because of the vibes that were getting thrown at me. But then, like, once it settled down, you know what I mean? It was chill. It was yeah. Because, bro, like, someone... Like, say, when I was on that shit, bro, someone was coming with you with some deep-ass shit, like, you need to better your life. I'd be like... Yeah, it oh. gets intense, bro, because your your emotions are, like, very fragile. <laughs> yeah. Like, very fragile. Super vulnerable. Yeah, exactly. Super vulnerable. Exactly. It's crazy. Fuck, so, like, that's, like, as much... Okay, so what other drugs have you experimented with? Uh, I've done... Yeah. Xanax, Vicodin, uh, Oxy, smoke weed, uh, Molly, uh, I said acid already, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I tried shrooms, but I didn't feel it. Um, and <coughs> when I tried mine, I was drunk and passed out. For real? I was faded like at three or four in the morning, and I was like, I got some, I mean, like, not acid, I got some shrooms, I'm gonna take them. Took him while I was playing Fortnite, and I knew it started hitting me, bro, because I wasn't even, like, playing. I was just running. <laughs> my, my, I, just, I had my guy just running, bro. Just running straight. Just running straight. I was like... So focused. Yeah, and I was like, bro, like, I'm like, I told my boy, I was like, bro, I'm just running. Like, I'm not even doing shit. And I'm like, bro, you, I was like, you see this, bro? And he's like, what? He's like, shit's hella bright. Oh, yeah, that's how you know it's kicking in. Everything starts getting brighter and whatnot. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. this is hella bright, dude. And he was like, I guess. And I was like, nah, but you want to see that? He's like... Yeah, I mean, like, it's, it's bright, yeah. And I was like, nah, bro, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. That shit's nice. <laughs> and my boy, Carlos, he explains, like, shrooms as putting a pair of glasses on. You know what I mean? And you're, like, in a different fucking... You see fucking like, different shit. Yeah. It's crazy. Fucking it's crazy. Shout out to my nigga, Carlos. How long are we doing the whole Xanax shit for? 
Because I, I pop bars like two or three times, like uh, okay. every other month. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? When I was, you know what I mean? I, I don't take them anymore, but that was like when I was in high school. And it was like. That whole game is fucked up, bro. Yeah, yeah, it was weird, bro. I just hated not being able to remember what happened, bro. Like, that was the worst. That shit was, like, horrible. Because you'd wake up and be like, where the fuck's my phone? Where's my wallet? Mm -hmm. I had fucking 30 bucks, dude. (laughs) Where the fuck is my money? Like, it's bad. Yeah, it's not cool. Because while you're on it, bro, like, you lose shit while you're on it. Like, yeah. even when you're, like, conscious, you're still, for, like, forgetting where shit it was. Exactly. 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 It's one hell of a drug. Yeah, because I wasn't sure if you took them or not, because, like, you know, on Twitter, you're always up talking about, like, oh, like, you know, like, fuck all this drug shit. Niggas look yeah, like crackheads. Yeah, exactly. Because and... niggas, are, there's a difference between balancing a drug and like getting addicted you know what i mean some people got an addictive mentality so they can't even they they can't like cope with having a sober mindset you know what i mean like i wake up in the morning and i don't have to smoke i chill you know what i mean i go about my day eat you know what i mean when i want to smoke i do but i don't have to you know what i mean it's not yeah. like oh i'm feeling for it. i gotta do it you know and as soon as i catch myself doing something like Especially when it came to uh, TV, but I just saw people like, I didn't like TV for a while because people would just sit and watch and like for hours and just get stuck on the TV, yeah. bro. But it just came to a point where I had to understand <coughs> that some people don't know how to balance and they don't know how to uh, prioritize certain things, you know? Mm-hmm. And that's what it comes down to. Like this day and age, it went from dealers, you know what I mean? Popping like in the 90s, selling drugs. Yeah, I'm a dope dealer. I'm a killer, you know? Mm-hmm. To now it's like, oh, I pop bars, I pop zans. Like, niggas are. That's the shit addicts, niggas brag about. Bro. Niggas, exactly. Niggas are addicted. Like, they can't go through the day without without being on a different level, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's sad, bro. Honestly, that shit's stupid. It's like, it, it, that's a very weak mentality to have. Yeah. You know? It's crazy, though. I know this one dude, he said, uh,. He was like, nah, I'm not, uh, every time I get, fuck, I'm getting addicted to a drug, I switch to a different drug. I'm like, what, man? Like, that's not, that's, that's not still, good. like, being addicted. That's it's just, still, like, you're just trying to find, like, that's not. That's an addictive mentality. Yeah, I don't even know, know if that's a great method, honestly, because yeah. you're eventually going to stumble upon something that's going to be fucking wild. Exactly. Because there's exactly. only so many drugs. Exactly. But. It's crazy, bro. It's, I mean, in this day and age, the way people idolize that stuff, it's hard not to be like, why is this happening? You know what I mean? Well, <laughs> look what people are rapping about. Yeah. Cause, so, uh, yeah, me and, uh, me and the nigga Cher talking about that shit, bro. Like, people act like music isn't influential, bro, but like that definitely does influence people to fucking take drugs. Yeah, it's mad, it's mad influential, bro. The way I think of it is anyone that's popping right now, if you got 500,000 followers, you got the golden ticket. You could change someone's life. You could change someone's day, like, just by posting something or doing something positive. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you have the power to do that. Why are you Why are you doing all this other stuff, you know? And it's, like, crazy the way people, like... And even when, they, when I see people do stuff, like, step out of the way to do something positive and, like, they record it... I don't mind stuff like that. It's like it's corny. It's like you don't yeah, need to do that. Exactly. Like if it's you're being like, genuine, you wouldn't be like, yo, hey, record me fucking giving this guy some food. It's exactly, like Exactly, bro. Everything I've done has never been on camera, bro. Like I've done a I I I there's a lot of stuff that my dad has uh put through the community, you know what I mean, as an organization and stuff like that. And he has like contacted the newspapers so people could know, you know what I mean, like look what we're doing for the community, like if you guys wanna come help type of thing. Yeah. But it's never been on the like, look what I'm doing, look who I am. Look like, how nice I am. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. Like, not, that's, like, that's not never genuine, posted yeah. it on my social media or anything like that, bruh. Like it's just all love type of thing. Yeah. Exactly. That's the difference because that's the difference between people who do it for uh clout and people who do it because they genuinely feel like it's something they want to do, you know? Yeah. It's a mad separation. Yeah, because time I see that, bro, I'm like, that's corny, dude. Mm-hmm. That's corny. But at the same time, I do certain, I understand some people, because some people think of it as like, yo, like, 
all, like how you're saying like they all want to be on there and taking drugs and shit but there's some dudes who are like yo like i'm instead of doing showing the whole drug shit i'm gonna show like you could be fucking cool and give shit out so there is that thin mm-hmm. line of doing that shit for the love and doing that shit just to fucking look cool yeah and it does come with like the whole way like uh walking your talk type of thing you know if you want to talk about positivity and like talk about uh what's wrong with the community and stuff like that you got to start acting like you trying to change the community you know what i mean mm-hmm. like people act like we ain't got a voice but it's like bruh like the power is in our hands like this we're in a day and the age where we can make a difference you know yeah and a lot of people are like sitting back and not acknowledging that and it's crazy because even he would be new and when he was when he was trying to make a difference back then he would go he was trying to make a difference trying to make a change and trying to tell people get educated you know what i mean uh you know what i mean do what you got to do and he could get he'd get sent to jail and then they'd get him out and then they'd be like huey you could do it and he's like i'm telling you guys you could do it you know what i mean like this is like this is in your hands like this is for the people like i can't do this all myself so it's like i feel like whenever an artist does try to do something like that they get frustrated because everyone's so my brother told me today, shout out to DZ, he told me today, he said people get caught up in who's portraying the message and not the message. You know what I mean? Yeah. Niggas get so caught up in who MLK <clears throat> was and not what he was about, like portray what he was doing, you know what I mean? Don't just post about him, like, yeah, it's MLK day, but come on, do something about it, you know? Yeah. So there's a difference, bro, and there's a lot of fake niggas out there today, so you gotta believe. Oh, man, with this social media, bro, it's so fucking crazy, bro. It's wild, bro. It's crazy. It's wild. Like, half of the people in here are just, just do shit just because they want to look cool in front of the camera. That shit's, shit's it's fucking out, corny, bro. bro. It's out. That Don't do is... that. If you just trying to rap because you saw someone else rapping, that's out. Don't even do it. If yeah. you just starting to rap, work on it. Go ahead. You know what I mean? Like... Do, focus on your crap. Don't focus on what people think type of thing, you know, because people get caught up on like, oh, I want people to see it. I want to get views. I want to get that. Before I even dropped music, I wrote like 30, 40 songs. Yeah. I, didn't even, I didn't even record. I was just writing. I was yeah. just writing, bro. Yeah. So it's like, man, like, why are you, what do you, what are you in it for, you know? Yeah, you're passionate about it. Some people aren't fucking passionate. They just come on here, just, because like, like we were talking earlier, they just, they just want to be cool. Yeah, exactly, so exactly. Cool. And that's where, that's where the line is drawn. Are you going to put time in after, you know what I mean? Once you leave the studio, what are you going to do? Are you putting time in, you know? Mm-hmm. After this interview, like, are we going to, like, promote and stuff like that? That's all up to us. It's in our hands, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, and that's the, that's what separates a lot of people because hard work beats talent every time. I know niggas that are hecka good at what they do, but they don't want to put the time into it. They don't want to put the extra hours into trying to copyright their music, trying to do all this, trying to get the re- actual beats going to work so you could pay for the your beats. You know what yeah. I mean? Just, like, stuff like that, like... Niggas don't want to work like that. You got to shift your mindset, bro. And that's what I've been trying to do. Like, I slowed down on the whole recording part. And I've just been trying to focus on, like, get, really getting down to, like, all right, what, like, to be an artist, what does that pertain? Mm-hmm. What do I got to do? You know what I mean? Like, to be official, like, to be in the same category as these other niggas, what has to be done because i already got I, I know how to record i know how to rap i could rhyme i got bars you feel me it's like i didn't even know the question anymore now yeah. i'm trying to like you know what i mean i'm yeah. trying to make moves my nigga like money moves so that's all in the works right now and this summer i swear it's just gonna go up it's gonna look nice yeah for real for real yeah that hard work shit's real bro mm-hmm Cause real shit, like I always, I always tell people, like, all right, look at Riff Raff, bro. That nigga is not the best fucking rapper, but that nigga put in the work and fucking did his shit, and now he's fucking hella big. Mm-hmm. And I think that, I think that might be part of Little B's thing, bro. Cause it's, it's if you take Little B serious, like he's actually being that bad on purpose. He's doing that shit. I mean, like, I think he's doing that shit like genuinely. He's that bad. He's a good fucking rapper. He so he 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 has a good image. Yeah, cause that's his thing. Yeah. Did you ever see his uh, double XL freshman freestyle? That nigga was spitting, bro. And that nigga said, "Y'all the niggas are arguably worse than me." And it's like, bro, you think it's telling y'all something? Like, yo, like that's boom right there. Like now you know, like all that little shit. It's just a, 
just him fucking around. And, and I think that might be the underlying message is just being like, yo, his hard work still gets you somewhere. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I exactly. think I think that might be the message, bro. If that's not, then shit, I could be wrong, but I think that could possibly be the message what he's trying to get across. It's the truth, bro. It's the truth because a lot of niggas work harder than niggas that are talented, bro. And for a minute, I wasn't I wasn't putting in the effort that I should have been putting in. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I had to check myself, like you know what I mean, reevaluate myself. And a lot of niggas, their pride kind of gets in the way of them even trying to sit down and evaluate themselves. They don't want to because they're so comfortable in the mess. You know what I mean? Just doing what they want, doing what they used to. They don't want no change. You know? Yeah. But. That's what that's what separates us, man. That's the difference. Yeah, you don't really want to get comfortable. Like you exactly. always want to be fucking doing something different. You never can get comfortable. Don't get comfortable. That's a fact. Yeah, that's it's real. Because real shit, like I, I didn't do this shit for a long time. I I thought about this shit like, fuck, like maybe around August last year, bro. Yeah. And the niggas barely get into it now, just because I was just being comfortable, just not doing shit, just. Yeah, and it does take t- yeah, it does take time. Like stuff starts um, reiterating itself. The more you ponder upon stuff, you know what I mean. The more I think of stuff, like the more I try and sit and uh, come to terms with something, it does start uh, appearing more and start. You know what I mean? Reassuring itself. That's what me and my nigga Sai were talking about about a week ago. You know. But it, it, I'm glad you started it up, bro, for real. Yeah, I'm telling you, like, it feels good. Like, it's like the equivalent of, like, a little kid being hyped about, like, something they like. Yeah. Like a toy a or hobby. something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, it exactly. feels good to be able to get something going that I enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. And, and some people feel like if they don't, if they not, like, getting a heck of love and getting all this type of stuff off of it, then it's not worth doing. But, like, yeah. if you're not doing it for yourself, bro, then... You should reevaluate. You know what I mean? And just the love I'm getting already, bro. Like I was, like I said, I was not expecting all the love I got, bro. And the, yeah, the love I've got, bro, it just, it just makes me feel even good. better. Exactly, bro. It's looking good. I fuck with it. Yeah, it just makes me feel even better because, like, even without the love, I was gonna do this shit regardless. Yeah, I was gonna do it till I got exactly, love. Exactly, exactly, and that's what separates you, bro. Yeah, so it just feels good actually getting people that give a fuck and just. Are checking it out because the whole point was just to fucking give a voice to people out there, like just like yo, like look at the talent. The underground, got here. yeah, exactly. Cause, you know, bro, like people out here, they're not really supportive like that, bro. Bro, and what's crazy is people won't support you unless you pop in. Like, how do I get popping if you're not gonna support me, bro? <laughs> you know, exactly. But I like that, bro. <laughs> I like I like the way you're coming at it. Yeah, and people always like, they yeah, exactly they don't want to do shit till it's cool, bro, and like. They be doing, like, I don't like, they hate on people that they see trying. Yeah. That's the thing that annoys the fuck out of me, bro. Is when people, yeah. like, they'll see someone trying to do something with their life and they're like, look at this nigga trying to fucking do this. It's like, how the, how, where the, like, what's your mentality at, bro? It's, like, who does that, bro? Yeah, it's a jealousy, man. Because when I see people trying to do something, I'm like, yo, like, I want to support as much as I fucking can. Like, <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. I don't understand some people, bro. You niggas are fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, no, nah, jealousy is a is a one hell of a drug too, bro. Niggas be tripping off that shit. Yeah. Then they get to them too. And it's pride it's it's pride too. It's probably niggas like feel attacked when when they see you doing better than them, you know? And they get hurt, you know, but Whenever I see someone doing better than me, honestly, I just evaluate myself. I'm like, all right, let me start doing this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So all you jealous motherfuckers gotta do that. Some fucking lame. (laughs) Y'all are fucking lame, bro. But who fucking, who who inspired you to go this hard at this shit, bro? Because I'm saying, you're going hard at this, bro, and like, I'm sure people fucking see that. I see it. Yeah, yeah, honestly, bro, my older brother... He's like the Diddy to to my meek man, <laughs> like for real, like that nigga. He he really puts a lot into me, and he he pumps me up for real, like motivationally, emotionally, mentally, you know, all that good stuff. Cause when I first started listening to music, it was cause of him. Yeah. He gave me beat tapes. He gave me music to listen to. You know what I mean? Different stuff and. I'd walk in on him recording in his little room, you know, like when I was like nine years old, you know, 
And I'd be like, yo, let me hop on the track. We yeah. a little something, you know. That's dope. All the time, we, we, he'd always make me freestyle. We'd go back and forth, bouncing off. And, and it's just like, just being around it as a kid and constantly doing it. Like, I never like uh, went to him and was like, yo, help me, yo, help me. I always did it. And then went to him and showed him. And then he said, fix this, this and that. And then went back, fixed everything. You know what I mean? And it was a constant process. Kept on doing that. And, and now it's to the point where, like, he's just, like, I don't know. He just, he he's more of a manager, you know what I mean? Than, like, a, a telling me, like, what to fix type of thing. So it's, like, we both trying to figure out the ways of the game and stuff. But... He put me on to the whole, like, you. he made me believe in myself, you know? Because as an artist, it's easy to get discouraged oh, when yeah. you making music on SoundCloud. And even your friends that say they're your friends haven't even heard your, your music, you know what I mean? But they follow you. They're liking your pictures. Mm -hmm. They, you know what I mean? They're checking out all your stuff, but they ain't listening to the music. They ain't reposting it, you know? Yeah. So it's easy to get discouraged. So it, it was cool having him on my side, bro. Him having him there, like you know, to pump me up and all that. Yeah, cause yeah, cause I'm saying like you go, you go tough at this shit, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like that's why I was sitting at the party when I seen you. I was like, bro, as long as you keep doing what you're doing, as hard as you're going, you're straight. Yeah, for real. And that's I always try try to make my uh, next boot move better than my last. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I can't degress. I always gotta progress. Oh, yeah, you always want to get better and better. Yeah. There's always. progress and then there's Congress. Fuck the Congress, nigga. Yeah, that's an absolute <laughs> shit right yeah, there. I, I had to do the process of it. <laughs> that shit was hard. That yeah. song was crazy. I love that song. First time I heard that song, I was like, yo, these niggas. Yeah, that put me on to Absol, Danny Brown, and um, Janae. Who are your, uh, what are your top albums? I want to know that. Cause your style is kind of different, so I I don't see I can say, I don't know I can see I can see you fucking with Kanye heavy, but I don't know my top albums, man. I have never had somebody ask me albums, definitely never? singles, but not albums. Uh, can I do mixtapes too? Yeah. Oh, okay, for sure, definitely ten day and acid rap. What's Those, a, uh, what, what's what's ten day? I, don't, I never heard of ten day. Chance the rapper. Oh, okay. That's like his first debut mixtape. Sorry, but that's no, no, you good. Right you good. No, you good. Yeah. You good. That that uh, ten day and acid rap definitely that shit motivated me on a different level. Like that's when I figured out like yo niggas ain't only dropping albums like there's t tapes are getting popping too. You know what I mean? And especially when we were in high school, bro. Like around like what year did you graduate? Uh, twenty fifteen. Okay, so when we were freshmen, bro, that mixtapes were popping. Yeah, exactly, they were on fire. Yeah. And no one in Newman had heard them. Really? Yeah, no one in Newman heard uh, 10 Day or... You were a cultured uh, swan. That's what I'm saying, bro. And I was oh, slapping it. I just downloaded uh, Acid Rap off of that pitch, bro. Threw it on my PSP. <laughs> Went camping and all that, bro. And I was just slapping that. And like being able to play it from beginning to the end... And not get bored, bro, was like so yeah. like I don't know. It was like a different feeling, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. it was a, like a whole piece of art, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like as a whole, like it was just dope, bro. I loved it. I fuck with it, and uh, also good AM. That oh, Mac Miller's Mac Miller's that one's that bro. one's pretty good. That shit, yeah. That, I have a lot of memories of that. That <laughs> one's a good one. Yeah, I fuck with that album, but definitely those ones. Um, I could go on and on about different albums, but I wanted to stay on ones that had effects, like the most effects. Like the ones that are just like top for you. Yeah, and then there's fucking, um, no. Yeah, 1999. I wanted to see oh. another album, but fuck it, bro. 1999, that shit. What was the other album? You could say it. Fuck it. No, I, I wanted to pick an album, but honestly, I don't I don't know any albums like that, bro, oh, okay. that, that I could play all the way through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because that's what I fuck with. I, want, I, like, I, I don't like being able to like, go into the album. Gotta pick, yeah, I got to look for the stars and like yeah. fucking pick them. But 
Exactly. Yeah, I, fuck with, I fuck with those. The ones you can play through, those are usually the ones that end up being classics. Yeah, exactly. Like Illmatic, exactly. you can play that bitch through. Yeah. Fucking um, yeah. Ready to Die, you can play that bitch through. Good Kid, Mad City, you can play that bitch through. Yeah, that's the truth. Yeah. Almost, damn, yeah, every, every Kendrick Lamar fucking album, you can play that bitch through. Yeah. All of them. Be honest. Yeah. And they all got storylines. That's what I want. Oh, like. man. I remember the first time I good, good Kid Mad City, bro. My mind was blown. <laughs> I was like, this shit's a fucking Fire. movie. Yeah, he was on a whole different level, bro. Because he started composing songs. Yeah. You know what I mean? They had, like, breakdowns. And they had, like, like um, introductions and different, like, sections. Intermissions. And yeah, and all exactly. Yeah. All that good stuff. Yeah. He is a good composer, bro. I remember the first time I heard that Mad City song when the beat switches up. Mm. I was like, yo, this is fucking insane. And that was, a, bro, like, that 2000, like a 2011, 2012 era was like the intro to this yeah, new whole, generation. Yeah, it was like that fucking um, attack rap type of shit. Like, it reminds me of, like, I don't know, that was when Big Sean fucking. Kendrick, oh, Two Chains, ASAP, Fucking Action Bronze, Chief, Chief Keef. It was like that. Like Whiskey for Currency came in the game. That was, bro, that's like literally the, like when it was like fucking getting very fire and then I had to go and get into the whole mumble rap. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that 2011, 2012 era is one of my favorites, bro. Because that's when everyone who's. A fucking legend now that's where they all came how can we forget about tyler bro tyler came that, during yes that tyler creator you had that yonkers joint bro oh my god and it's cool to see how much of a fucking like how much like how much his progress as an artist because his sound is just amazing now yeah and i like how he went back to that feel uh with his uh okra mm-hmm. that last single yo he went back to that whole gritty feel yo, that, when that i heard that hard. bro that shit definitely got played all day long <laughs> yeah, I wrote a fucking remix to that. Oh, did you? Yeah, because that, that beat's insane. I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably not gonna drop that. That's just cool though. That beat was fire. Yeah, bro. Because when I heard that song, I was like, "Fuck!" I might have to wrap it up a little bit soon because I got work in the morning. Oh, it's all good. We can fucking uh, what 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 other questions we got right here? Yeah, go ahead. What other questions we got? All right, so what she said? I think that's nah. I think we kind of fucking got everything, bro. To be honest, where? think so is there anything else you're gonna fucking touch on before we're done um definitely pride don't let your pride take control of you know set your pride aside but uh besides that nothing all right man so this bitch might just be fucking finished man I was shots my name. We got that shit motherfucking done. Yeah, Zero's good sliding as always, bro. I'm glad uh, you you had me. Oh hell yeah, the bro. Table at the hot seat. You feel me? And you feel me? One twenty milligrams, my nigga. You heard? <laughs> and of course, bro. Like the more man, we're gonna have to get you back on here too. Like after a while, man, we gotta get you back on and see the progress. Oh yeah, for sure, for, for sure. sure. We'll do some. For sure, they do some shit, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, man. But uh, I think that wraps it up. Yes, sir. 120 milligrams. My nigga Switch. We're going to have the motherfucking Instagrams in the bio, the Twitters, all that good shit, man. Hopefully, I forgot this audio shit. Hopefully, the official audio will be on here. If it's not, I'm sorry. I'm figuring this shit out, Steve. Game, game. But uh, that pretty much wraps it up. So, uh, yeah. Oh, Oh, shit. Did I do that same shit last time, bro? I tried stopping with the record button and it didn't work. (laughs) 